Good morning, bestie girls. Welcome to another vlog, y'all. So it is. It's 8.15 in the morning. It's Saturday morning. And I figured we would just do a full day in a life as a stay-at-home mom and wife. I'm going to just take y'all along my whole entire day. So, ooh, is my eye crusty? Mm, probably so. I got up this morning and did a little bit of work. Um, Some stuff I'll tell y'all about later. But, yeah, I'm about to get ready to get up and start my day. And I'm bringing y'all with me, so. And I know the city that we fall not a safe place But I know you riding with your twin till we fade away We used to have nothing to our names till that great day Always kept me on umbrella though when the rain came You tell me you want something, I would tell you the same thing Now when we come through inside this bitch, they got a make way Twisting on my fingers for my twin, twin You was always on go Alright besties, done with my little morning time Skincare, self-care Say hello to my little friend I don't know why my I don't know why my skin is deciding to break out, but okay. In my shower, you have all this wall space and only one tiny shelf for putting things. So, like a month ago, I had ordered these shelves. Same one I had in my old apartment. I think it just has more to just have some more space. So obviously, since we're putting up more storage, that means I can have more body wash. So that means we need to do a Target run later. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these and then I'll be back. These trees can't cross, cross them up. Baby K, say good morning vlog. Go. Say good morning vlog. Okay. Go. Say good morning vlog. Good morning, guys. Say hey, babes. Mm. Say hey, babes. Oh, it's okay. Don't be shy. You don't want to be on camera? Yeah. You don't? Okay. All right, y'all. I just got them up, and I'm going to go ahead and do that little morning time routine, brush their teeth. I got a little surprise for them today, so let's go ahead and get them ready for the day. All right, y'all. So, I decided that I'm going to skip my Saturday reset simply because there's a safari park that I want to take my kids to today, and I want to make sure we get there in time, and my Saturday reset be taking forever. So, instead of a Saturday reset, we'll just do the reset tomorrow on Sunday. So, I'm going to go ahead and make up my bed. He's supposed to be upstairs building something in a babe cave i'm he talking about i'm done i'm like oh you're done with the bookshelf he's talking about i'm done boo-booing you've been boo-booing for 55 minutes ew you better go my stomach you better go bds they know not to try too much respect i used to hand out cds before they were buy. wow she loved me so much it seemed like she buys all right, bestie, CJ hung my sign for me. Not my sign, my little shelf for me up, upstairs in the babe cave. I'm gonna have to take y'all up there and show y'all. Yesterday we went to Lowe's and did a little bit of damage. We bought some shelves for the garage because it was just so unorganized. We also got some new plants to plant in our little flower bed in the front because the plants that the landscapers put out when they was building the house, they're dead, so. We also got a Blackstone flat top grill and I'm finna get ready to cook on here. I'm making breakfast, so I got the stuff. I got the pancake mix made, but I'm finna get ready to bring it out and we finna cook breakfast. All right, y'all, I cooked breakfast on the Blackstone and now I'm finna head inside so that we can eat, girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, bestie girls, I'm upstairs. I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to go. So we got done. We planted the plants and everything. We had an appointment this morning with, the, with an electrician to add some exterior lighting to our home, like in the front, because it's pretty, it's not dark. It's just not as lit up as I would like it. So our appointment was at nine o'clock, y'all. Why does man show up at 120? Talking about, yeah, we ready to get to work. No, you're not. We finna go. We just finna go catch us another day. Our no, professionalism does not no, live here. No, we like, no, no, we're not going to New Mexico. You, I thought that's where safari is. You got your shoes? No. Ask Daddy if he can find them. I did. Okay. But anyways, y'all, like, no, that's unprofessional. Can I like, use this frisbee? What frisbee? That half. No, that's not a frisbee. Those are lights. Put that back. I need that. 
Like, you don't do people like that. Somebody paying you. And that's how you act. Like, you're not doing the service for free. I'm, you're charging me $700 to put in four lights. Like, sir. So, no. It was like, we could reschedule or we could just find somebody else because he's already been giving us the runaround since Wednesday, y'all. It's Saturday. We were supposed to get the lights installed on Wednesday. And that's annoying. I try to always support black businesses, of course. Um... You know, because I am a black person and I want to see my people win. But it's just like every time I support a black business, like it just it goes wrong. And I've already given them two chances. So I'm going to try to give them a third chance next week, pending his availability and our availability. So we'll have to see. But anyways, this is the little look of the day. Cute little feathered colored wig. My little friend right here really needs to go. But I'm finna pop on some mascara. I just put on some tinted moisturizer. I filled in my brows. And I'm finna put on some mascara. And we finna go. Y'all, this is the little um, shelf that CJ installed for me this morning. And I'm gonna display all of my perfumes on here. You can tell right now I have a few of my dossier scents on there, y'all. Alright, y'all. We're you at the safari you park. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, I'm so gonna let my window up because see, they already right here. Can I get some for you? Dude, can he get some out? Yeah, he can get some. No, well, no, because no. they gonna eat in your hand, Carter. No. You gotta uh -uh, feed them no, out the bucket. Okay. You can't get them. CJ, let K window up. Oh, <laughs> let K window up some. Oh, God. They gonna be my baby. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Carter, you see that thing in your window? You see him? Ooh, <coughs> ooh he, he chasing they, bad. They are Ooh, ooh, look. I'm scared. CJ, you know I don't like these. My truck too tall. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, you big. You. He gets on. He done wow. tried to knock my bowl out my hand. Your truck is high though. So that's good, okay? You can see. Scared. See, I don't like them. Ooh, hey. ooh. Okay. Is that boo boo? That's nasty boo. Ooh. Okay. He's a what? He's a coon coon pig. You are so smart. He is a coon coon pig. Oh my god. He looks like a thumb. A thumb with hair on him. Don't it look strong? Oh my god, look at his arm. Y'all look at these kangaroos behind us. Right there in front of you. Look how strong his body is. <gasps> that thing will knock you out cold. All right, besties. It is six. Is it six? Yeah, it's 627. And as y'all can tell, little change of scenery. Drop the boys off. CJ Grandma is there with them. And we came to pick up some dinner for, for them from Chick-fil-A. I feel like we'll never be buying dinner for it's always sponsored by sponsored by somebody. But yeah, we're getting us some Chick-fil-A. And then CJ Grandma told us that we can go on a date. And the date is sponsored by who babe? <laughs> My father-in-law. <laughs> so crazy. It really is crazy. Like people just be like, here, here, here's my card. Here, here. Like it be the village for me. Or like here, I'ma stay tonight. Y'all go on a date. Like, I gotta tell me twice. So when I get home, I guess we'll start getting ready. I don't really know. I'm not gonna dress too much. I'm not gonna dress up, dress up too much. Simple little one, two, but we're gonna pick the boys up some dinner. And yeah. A police car. You go to the bar. Uh oh, who that is? Who? Mm, stop so close to me. Should we go to the bar? You said should we go to the bar? Yeah. Cause we can't we can't enjoy that. Well one of us can. Cause I don't play the drink and drive stuff. That ain't. We can go out to eat. Yeah. I'd rather do it. Grab one of my shirt and then you it's have right. a drink. Okay. Okay. The drinks be grabbing on your shirt. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I want that Dunkin' coffee, the way you had it. Okay, you want me to go over there and get hey, you? How are you? Hey, how are you? How are you? 
Sorry, what was the name of the order? Zarya. You... What's up, brother? <laughs> Ignore him, please. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, special bye. team, special play, special players. Thank you. Have a good night. Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey, hey. you don't worry about going nowhere else with me. He liked it. He liked it. I'm going to give him five. <laughs> copying it, man. Talking about a damn what's up, brother. No, he, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't know. It's a streamer who got the world saying that. It's a white dude. He know who I'm talking about. His name's Sketch. Yeah. Yo, I guess we fit CJ. What's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. Can you not? Like, what the fuck? They laughed. At your ass. They don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, they do. You don't know what I'm talking about. You're going to have to have some straight in the hill. You're not going to be acting a fool when you in this car with me. I guess I'm going to take him to Duncan, y'all, so he can hush. Because my mama had when I got him the coffee. I told her how to order it. She ordered it how I told her, and they did not make it right. Girl, that guy hit this man some a little sugar in the top of your drink. I don't know what that was. It wasn't no sweet cream foam. shit. I don't want that. <laughs> Good morning, bestie. I'm weak. Not, not y'all long lost bestie coming back on the camera at the who knows how long. So it's the next, um, it's the next morning, y'all. Um, so last night, CJ's grandma told us we can go on a date, whatever. She was gonna watch the boys. So I had y'all charged and everything. And this was my final straw, y'all. I had y'all charged for like two hours, got ready to go, grab my camera. Why did the camera say it was overheating? And the little, the little overheating thing just wouldn't go away. Final straw, I woke up this morning, ordered a new camera. I have it on Tuesday. I'm done, like I'm done playing around with this camera. I love it, but it don't love me. But we um, we was gonna go bowling, but then we ended up going to CJ Friend, Fat, and Sierra from the last vlog when we went out of town. They invited us to their little family barbecue and we had a good time. Y'all, CJ had a really good time and I love when my man just have a good time and he prefer to go to like backyard family events over like a club and just like out and about because people be crazy. Y'all know, people be crazy. So yeah, we had a good time. We stayed over there for about two hours. Um, you know, the guys just was drinking and eating us, having fun. Me and Sierra, we just was talking and she's a very like-minded um, individual. We just talked about goals and like what, what where we want to be. Um, 12 months from now. We just talked about goals and aspirations. I'm 24, she's 29. And obviously sometimes when you have like a big age gap, when you have a big age gap in friends, somebody be like a little bit more mature, but I just feel like I'm like on the more mature side, like even though she's almost 30, we vibe, we vibe really good together because I'm just more mature than like some 24 year olds. I don't really know. But we had a good conversation, y'all. It was good vibes. And then it started raining so hard and storming so bad. So we left, we came home, um, took a shower, and went to bed. And when we got back home, my camera still said overheating. And CJ Grandma was like, put it in the freezer. And I was like, okay. I set it in there for five minutes and the message had went away. And I didn't even bother it until this morning. So I just picked it up. I was able to film. So I said, we're doing it. Let's go. So yeah, I just set up, y'all. About to do my little morning time routine. I know I look a mess, y'all. But this is me. Like, this is me. You watch me on YouTube, TikTok, whatever. You get the real, raw, and authentic version. I'm not going to filter nothing. I'm not going to do all that. And as y'all can tell, I got this big breakout. But we finna get dressed so that we can go grocery shopping home, girl. Because when I tell y'all my house sound empty. Like literally, it's on empty. So we're gonna go grocery shopping. I just finished my skincare. Looking like a Krispy Kreme donut, hot off the line, baby. So from Ulta, I need to grab a bottle of the Discoloration Serum. It's time for me to re-up on all of my Good Molecule products anyways, cause I'm almost out. But I only bought the bottle one time and after I used the whole bottle, all of my dark marks have faded. But since then, I've just been having outbreaks like currently on my cheek. And when they're gone, they leave little dark marks and I want the marks gone. So we're gonna pick up some Discoloration Serum, some we're just gonna go and you know get our stuff together girl we're gonna get ourselves together because yes ma'am can't have my skin out here looking crazy i look like a donut but you know what i'm moisturized i'm hydrated and i'm gonna take these covers off my bed because i didn't wash my bedding yesterday so i'm gonna take this stuff off my bed and yeah i look like miss netta with this shiny face that's crazy <laughs> Hey besties, it's a little bit later. Um, everybody's dressed. We're gonna get ready to run some errands. So y'all, I don't know. I didn't tell y'all. So there was a picture. Let's see. That I saw at Home Goods. 
There's a picture that I saw at Home Goods that I wanted to put right here, right? But it was too big to fit in my car. It's a huge picture. It's black and white. It's abstract. So, I'm going to insert a little picture of it right here or a little clip. I really want to get this picture, but I do not think it's going to fit in my car. But it was at the Home Goods that's like an hour and a half away. That's by the car dealership. What's wrong? So we're going to check the Home Goods in Montgomery and see if we can find the same picture. That's his toe? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Can I squish that plenty at me? Hey, please. Uh, I'm like. Is that the size now? Yeah. This is the, this is the size now, but it's feeling a little bit tight. Can you return worn shoes? No. I can't return worn shoes because these are the only brands I have. Well, shit. I'm just gonna have to take the L then. Oh, aren't you too tight? These toes poking through the tip of That sucks. Six piece. Six piece, yeah. Can I get the six piece chicken nugget? What the drink? Sweet tea. Can I get sweet tea for both of those? Extra fries. And could I get extra fries? Little Miss used to work at McDonald's booth. Don't nobody want no apples. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. I have a code. What's the code? 2193. I'm sorry, I hear that. 2193. If y'all not using that McDonald's app, yeah, you want some crazy. Drink? Uh -huh. I'll take a large sweet tea. Oh, okay, uh, can I get a large sweet tea? Sweet tea. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> uh y'all. So I don't know why y'all. Carter was like, "Mom, can we go to McDonald's?" He's been asking like ever since we woke up this morning. Like, what's tea, boo? You don't even like McDonald's like that. But I had twenty-two thousand points on my McDonald's oh my app, so I just let him use a little oh, six. Is. 6,000 points for a happy meal. A free happy meal. If y'all not using the app, like, I don't care what nobody say. Hold on, boo, I got a code. I got a code. I be all at Zaxby's. Can I scan this? Because one thing about it, I don't care how much money I got. I want I want to use my coupon. I want to use them. Yes. Yeah. I got one of these pellets on. All right, y'all. This is the lamp that I decided to get from Home Goods. I still got to go to Target because I need a bulk. Like what? Okay, get up. I gotta get a bulb to go in here. I thought it was cute. And this picture compared to the clock that I was thinking about putting on this empty wall, you can just see the size comparison. That clock was way too small. And I don't have nowhere else to hang it, so I'm gonna take it back. <laughs> and the little hand broke off, so I'm definitely gonna take that back. I never even got a chance to hang no, it. So I finally got something to put in the middle of this table. I, I had got this thing about a year ago, so it was just some until I found something to go right here. But I got this, and I think it's really cute, and I got to find something to put in there. But for the time being, I think it looks cute right there in the middle of the table. Hey, bestie girls, little update. I had to run to Walmart because I need a bulb for my, what it is? My lamp, and I need, what else, y'all? A bulb and I know I ain't came to Walmart and forgot what I came here for. I'm finna have to call my mama. My mama at my house, she's seasoning some um some hamburgers for me because we're finna put some burgers on the grill. I came here for some bulbs and a command canvas holder. So we finna go in here and finna grab this real quick. And then I gotta like catch y'all up tonight. I gotta sit down, talk to y'all, give y'all a little life update because I told y'all briefly about my relationship with my dad and I done prayed about it, y'all, and we making little strides to you know, at least be cordial with one another. So, I'm, I guess, hopeful. But, I don't know. It's just up and down. Part of my little life trauma. <laughs> Let's go, Walmart girl. Hopefully, I got the right type of light bulbs. I found the command strip. So, I'm finna check out and hope. Praying to God, these are the right light bulbs, child, because I don't know nothing about no light bulbs. Let me give y'all a little haul of stuff I got from the commissary. So, if you don't know what the commissary is, it's the grocery store on base, right? And their prices are literally, they're like a little bit cheaper, right? <coughs> Girl, get it together. 
So I picked up some little household essentials. I got two of these, these extra strength um, carpet things. I love to season my carpet, season my carpet. And I got two of these and they smell so good. I always spray it or sprinkle it across the floor before I vacuum. I got a two pack of this Febreze April, April Fresh, the downy one y'all, it smells so good. Love this. I got the Soothing Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this is one of my favorites. I love this. I love to pair it with the Dove um, Shea Butter. It smells so good. Also got the Dove Gentle Exfoliant. It smells good. And I decided <clears throat> to go ahead and pick up soap from the commissary because it was $4.01 and then they had a dollar off coupon. So it was like $3.01 for Dove. And if you know, you know, Dove can be a little high. And I think this one was like $2. So I just went ahead and got that. And then I got a cocoa butter as well from the commissary. Because this was like $2.99. And when the freak cocoa butter got so high, I bought this Febreze plug-in thing. So I'm a big, like I'm a big smell person. I, every time we come in the house, my nose start working overtime. Like, and last night we were, um, we went out. I told you we went out to a little barbecue. And I had to come home because my day in the life would not upload at the house. Like the Wi-Fi just was not working. I didn't have service over there. And we live like two minutes um, away from where the barbecue is being held. So Sierra and Dre or Fat, whatever we gonna call them on the channel, y'all saw them in the last vlog, had rode with us. And they came in and like, when we walked in through my garage, it smelled stale. And I can't stand when my house try to embarrass me. Like, why would you smell stale when somebody finna come over here, don't play with me. And like, I had just cleaned up. I had just um, mopped and everything. So I don't know why it decided to smell stale right there. But I was like, clearly I need to re-up on my plugins and stuff because don't be smelling stale when I got people walking through my house. Don't have nobody stank in my house be stank. Nuh-uh. So this is the Febreze Game Win and it came with a warmer. I like these to be having a little two things in it because they smell real good. I got a pack of Airwick essential ones. This is the, um, I think this is the clean linen scent. Let me see. The fresh linen scent. This is like one of my favorites. Love this one. I got this little Febreze small spaces thing. I usually put this in my car. Um, did I tell y'all yet? My car got to go in the shop. I don't know if I told y'all. If I didn't, I'll tell y'all in a minute. My car got to go in the shop Wednesday and I pick it back up on Saturday. So I'm not going to put this in my car until I get my car back. Because it's going to be having stinky little workers in it. <laughs> I got another air wick just so I can have another warmer. And it's the same fresh linen. And then I picked up two more warmers because I know people be like, be saying, like, you can't cover, um, like, the smell of your home with air fresheners. You need to find the source of the smell. But the source of the smell is just stale air. Like, I don't want my house smell like it's uncared for. You know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. But, yeah, that was everything I got. Also, I don't think I told y'all, from Home Goods, I also picked up, um... A wax warmer and if you've been a babe for a while then you know that I take the oil from these and I pour it in the little jar where the um wax should go and girl it have your whole house smelling so good and then I remember when I put it in a vlog before people was coming like that's not good for you to be breathing in let me tell y'all something nothing's good for us not even the air that we breathe in every day so I'm gonna have my house smelling good and that's just that. Like, ain't nothing good for us nowadays. And also, people was asking, does it irritate Carter's asthma? No, it doesn't. Anything that irritates Carter's asthma, I cut it out ASAP. So, no, it doesn't irritate him. But that's everything I got. So, I'm going to go through the house, put my new plugins out, and just get my life together. Because I can't stand no stale smelling house. Like, no. Nuh-uh. And I got to show y'all my pictures that I put up. But I'll be back. This is what my living room looks like with that new picture. Somebody on my day in the life was like, that picture is too high. This wall is 12 foot and this one is eight. So it's never gonna match because if I bring this down to match that, it's gonna be right on top of the couch and that can really knock somebody in their head and uh uh. So that's why it's up higher. And I love the little offset. I love how it looks. I love everything. 
So, yeah. Y'all know people be wanting to tell you what to do so freaking bad, but I love it. I don't know why my TV automatically goes on this fish, like, wallpaper, but I really like it. It's really cute. Next thing I need to do, I need to go to Walgreens, and I need to print some pictures out and put us in here and not this random family. Because sometimes I be looking at, like, girl, get it together. But, yeah, that's everything. And I just love that picture. I feel like there was money well spent. <laughs> Um, I just finished helping CJ get his game room together. He still had boxes in here. We just unpacked the boxes. And I really just helped him get his space together. Because um, this upcoming week, I'm going to really focus on the bed cave. And, you know, just organizing up there. So, I wanted to help him get his space together first. So, well, with the home goods, I was like, babe, do you like this? I think it would look cool in your room. And it's like the painting, y'all, the starry night. And I thought it was so cute. And then I just put his little shoes down here, some shoe boxes. Just helped him organize and unpack. And he got his little hat wall going on, you know. He got his, this, we got this futon for like $40 at Lowe's. I don't know if y'all remember that vlog. But I was supposed to put it in the boys' room. But we ended up just putting it in here because the boys like to come in here with their daddy and hang out. And so this way they just have like a little futon to sit on. And we still have one more box. It's just a printer in there. And I don't really know where we're going to put the printer at. But yeah. I wanted to help him get his little space together because he deserved that. When he get off, he deserved to have a nice clean space to come play the game and stuff. So I wanted to help him organize that. So that's why I didn't organize the perfume in the babe cave today because it's perfume, you know, it can wait. So yeah, but I'm gonna take a shower, girl. Y'all, we are at Five Below. It's the next day, but yes day. Like letting y'all nephews have a little yes day. Oh, they, yes um, they who? They yes real bad. Ain't they yes and real bad? I'm talking about they picking up everything. <laughs> Cammy, you left your buggy. This is an alien. For 10 minutes. Once we get home, they're going to be talking. So we need something else. Look, Kay, look. Kay, look. Oh, this damn thing don't even work. But yeah, y'all, um, we right by Ulta, so I'm running Ulta when we leave here, and then, I don't know if we're gonna go home. No, we gotta get pizza. We eat pizza tonight, not cooking. It's time to do our little good molecules restock, so I'm gonna pick up some more pimple patches, because clearly I need them. I'm gonna get another hyaluronic acid. Um, I don't need another toner yet. Oh, I need this. This is this discoloration serum. I want to try this one, so I'm gonna get this one. The big one is $25. Oh my god, good molecules. We're gonna stick to the $12 one. Um what else did I need to restock on? Y'all I don't remember. Um oh my daily bright the brightness serum. And then I wanna try this. It's the overnight treatment, but I don't know. I'm gonna look it up on TikTok right quick, see what the girlie's been saying about it. I think I'm done. I have everything. I was gonna get the topical eye, pack, eye patches, but they don't have them in here. So I guess it's only at Sephora, so. Okay, y'all, just leaving out of Ulta. Um, I wanna go to Hobby Lobby, but CJ is really tired. He got off, well, he went to work at five, so he barely, he didn't get a lot of rest last night. So if he wanna go home, we are gonna go home. But we are gonna get pizza, because first of all, I already made it very clear. Can y'all see me? To my family that I'm not cooking tonight. We eat pizza. <sighs> Babe, I got us some new skincare products. No. I spent $500. No. You don't care? Oh, I spent $50. <laughs> you know I would tell you before I spent $500 in Ulta. Oh, you can hold it. Why am I seat up to the, to the wheel, boo? You You got that serious like in here. I do. Hey, bestie girls. So it's a little bit later. Um, I'm back at home and I got my stuff. I'm gonna give y'all a little Ulta haul. We made a stop at Hobby Lobby. Y'all nephews was just acting off the chain. I just didn't even pull out my camera in there because they was like 
Car and Cakes was driving me crazy, okay? Like, that was driving me crazy. But I picked up a few things for the house. I really wanted me some um, table mats or the place mats for my table. And I finally found me some, so I grabbed me eight. And then I got another vase and a few sticks of pompous, and that was it. And yeah, so I'm gonna give y'all a little Ulta haul, and then I'm gonna take me a shower. I'm gonna put the boys to bed. I didn't cook tonight because my brother said he was gonna buy us dinner, and he asked what we wanted, and I just said pizza because we was gonna eat pizza anyways tonight because I didn't feel like cooking. So. He's going to bring the pizza in a minute. We're going to base the boys, put the boys in the bed, and then we're going to go upstairs and we're going to catch up, talk, finally put the per per finally put the perfume on the shelf. And yeah. So I ended up getting these um, caffeine hydrogel eye patches. I really wanted the topical ones, but like Sephora was like right next door, but I didn't even feel like going over there because y'all nephews was having a fit. I restocked on my daily brightness serum. Um, I also got some more pimple patches. I had a pack, child. Coco got the freaking pack with the freaking pimple patches in there and chewed, like just chewed through the pack, chewed through the patches literally everything so i had to get another pack of them i got another hyaluronic acid serum um my budget for today was 60 dollars for ulta and so that's why i just got the smaller sizes and stuff sometimes i get big size but today i got small and then i just got the discoloration serum so i'm finna get out the shower and then when i get out finna get in the shower and when i get out we'll do our skincare see's out the shower y'all i wash my face with my own Kojic acid soap and my little, what is this? Clarifying cleansing bar from Good Molecules. At this point, I don't need Good Molecules to sponsor me. Give me some PR or something because I mean, I keep putting everybody on the Good Molecules, but I'm gonna use my Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. First time ever using these new product. It came with like a little spatula to scoop them out with and they so like gushy, like, I love like hydrating gushy eye patches. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is what they look like. So you just scoop them out. Oh girl, I thought I seen steam coming off of these. I was gonna say, now what is this, baby? But okay, it's ages. Hope not putting them on the right way. Uh, okay. Like, why is it all the way on my nose? Did I put this on right? I don't know, but I do need, like, I, I used to use the caffeine solution from the Ordinary brand because, I don't know, I guess it's um, genetics, but I have a really bad dark eye circles. It doesn't matter. I've had them before I had kids. I had dark eye circles in high school, and, like, I was getting enough rest, so I don't freaking know. I guess it's, it's genetics because my mom have them, my auntie have them, my aunties. I don't know, maybe something from their dad's side of the family. I don't know, y'all, but however it go, your girl got dark eye circles. <laughs> and I used to use the Ordinary Caffeine Solution, and then for a while, I felt like it was helping. But then we moved to freaking Japan, and it was so hard. Oh, no wonder why, y'all. I got on about three damn eye patches in one. No wonder why it's so damn big. Oh, I'm over here wasting my product. Now I'm gonna put these right back in the pack because these these things was eighteen dollars. I ain't can't waste these. Girl, I'm sitting up here with three damn. No wonder why they look so big. I'm sitting up here with three eye masks on one eye. Girl, okay. No wonder why they were so ginormous under my damn eye. And it's the same for the other side. Look like I got a suitcase under my eye. Nuh uh. Okay. Boom. Now, this, that's like three eye patches. Like, you need to get together, sorry. Let me figure out. First of all, let me put these back. Back in their packaging. And let me take this off. Yeah, girl, this four. This is literally four masks. Like, Zarya. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Let's put this on. Okay. 
I was wondering why I looked so freaking fat. It was like that because it was too many. Okay, I don't even I don't even know if I'm putting them on the right way. Why is this giving difficult? I don't like difficult stuff now. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put the mask on. It says leave the mask on for 15 minutes. And then after the mask, follow up with your normal, your normal nighttime skincare routine. So before I did the mask, I cleansed and also put on my toner. So after I take off the mask or the eye mask, I'm gonna just obviously massage the stuff in under my eyes. Talk about good molecules is it'll tell you the steps to go in. So it says cleanse done, tone done, discoloration serum. So I'll use this and then I'll use my own hyaluronic acid and then some oil and then that'll be it. So yeah, we are gonna let these little patches sit see like the topical patches they cute they pink i literally saw on tiktok that a girl wore her topical patches to a job interview now sis you knew better than that now <laughs> i've seen a girl at the nail salon with her topical patches on and i was like i asked her like what kind of eye patches are you wearing she told me about topical and that's when i got on the topical bandwagon and i haven't officially bought anything from there yet but i think i'm gonna try their eye patches and that fade cream that they have because the girlie's been raging about that fade cream. When I tell y'all I'm so tired, so it's 1.05 in the morning and I'm literally up. Me and Lex texting each other about how motherhood just been having us overwhelmed and stuff and I was like, I need to go upstairs and finish this vlog so that I can post tomorrow. So here we are looking crazy but y'all already know the vibes we sisters over here baby we've seen the good the bad the ugly and all of that so yeah i was telling y'all i was gonna give y'all a little life update so the other day carter was like mom um i know that grandpa is dad's dad but where's your dad and i knew like one day well it wasn't the other day it was like three weeks ago <clears throat> i knew one day <clears throat> I knew he was gonna ask. Carter's a very smart kid and he's, you know, he picks up on the ones and twos. So I was just like, um, you know, mom has a dad, he's just not around. And my baby said this made him feel very sad for me because he's like, you're missing out, mom, you're missing out. Like, it's so awesome having a dad, you're missing out. When I tell you I had a frog in my throat, I was trying not to cry um, and just stay, you know, mellow for him. But it crushed me all because honestly, I always wanted to just be daddy's little girl. That's all I ever wanted. And if you don't know, because I, obviously a lot of my besties are new. My dad is serving a life sentence in prison. He's been in prison since I was four months old. And we don't really have like relationship. So I just started praying about it and was like, you know, if it's meant to be God will see fit for us to mend our relationship. And um, I kid you not, like, a couple of days after that he just started reaching out to me and stuff and i was just like really moved by it because like i just prayed for this and um i'm a bit stubborn i'm not gonna lie but for my baby i'm willing to do anything and if my baby want to know more about my dad and his other grandpa i'm going to try my best put my best foot forward to give him like he can't really have a relationship with my dad because of where my dad is but phone calls and video calls i guess will suffice for now because carter's just very interested he wants to know what he looks like what he sounds like he just wants to know so yeah that's that um i just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed y'all ever since we got sick i just been so out of it honestly i'm behind on work editing just behind on everything and i just been feeling like I don't know kind of like a blank canvas and I have to start prioritizing not only my mental health but like also my sleep because if you know you know I barely ever sleep I just I be on auto well let me tell y'all what happened to me I was on the way to the airport to pick up my husband um y'all remember I was vlogging right and I, I didn't really feel good that day and I hadn't really got a lot of rest so I was going to Birmingham to pick him up and we was in traffic and the kids were in the back seat and the kids were asleep basically like they were on the ipads but they were just kind of like dozing off and traffic was at a standstill 
why did I just hear like a voice say like Zarya y'all why was I like dozing off like in traffic when I tell y'all it scared me so bad the guy start praying I was shaking I called my mama and I was telling her like mama oh my god I, I'm like so tired I'm about to like fall asleep while I'm driving and she was asking me if I need to pull over and I was like no I don't need to pull over because at this very moment like I'm up like I heard somebody say my name like Zarya and like I'm up but just to know that I could have like fell asleep while like operating my vehicle it scared me so bad y'all so like I just have to start prioritizing my sleep because I never really feel sleepy until my body just shuts down like I'll be literally um I could just be sitting on a couch and I could just be folding clothes out just fall asleep and it's like I'm I don't feel tired but my body's tired and my body will just shut down and that honestly was one of the scariest moments in my life and the only thing I could do was just pray and thank God because like anything could happen, you know? And my babies mean everything to me. So I don't want nothing happening to them, you know? <sighs> but yeah, I just really have to start learning how to do like more, better on time management. And then I see the comments y'all, y'all like, Bestie, where's our vlog? Um, You been acting real funny since you been home. Y'all just bear with me. I've been tired, I've been sick and super overwhelmed a lot of times i show up for y'all even when i don't feel good when i don't feel up to par even if i don't feel like recording i still do and i have to learn how to prioritize like my mental health and i was like wondering why like big youtubers like dara taylor sometimes they just disappear for three four months it's because you need a little mental break like you literally need a mental break and i'm never gonna disappear on y'all for three or four months but sometimes I feel like I do need a day or two, like just from my shorts and everything. I just need a day or two. So um, I'm just in a season of my life where I'm learning to give myself grace because I deserve that. I'm a human. I get tired. I get overstimulated. I get stressed. Like I deserve grace. And I just want y'all to have grace with me as I just navigate through this season of my life. Just have grace with me, y'all, because I be tired and um, like I'm still human. And even though I don't technically work, I literally work all day between the agency, um, YouTube, and then my shorts. And then being a mom and a wife, cooking, cleaning, maintaining my home, I barely ever sit down, y'all. Sometimes when I get in the bed at night, my feet be like throbbing and be like, just I be ready to get in my bed because my feet be hurting, which is crazy. But at this point, I'm just rambling. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I love you guys. I love y'all like my sisters. We for well. We locked in. If y'all still watching, put a lock emoji <laughs> in the comments. But I love y'all, and I will see you guys in a couple of days in another vlog. Bye, bestie girls. Mwah.